Hi, this is Johannes. In this video, I'm going to show you how you and your colleagues can use an Excel workbook like this one to work with your data in SQL Server. In this example, I have a table in SQL Server with resellers information that I would like to update through Excel. To do that, I will create an Excel workbook like this one where I can add new data or I can update the existing data. When I save the workbook, the changes that I've made will be pushed back to the database. I click save. I switch to the database. I do a refresh. And down here, I can see the three new resellers that I added. And I can also see the updates I did to the existing reseller. To create this Excel document where I can work with my SQL Server data, I start with a blank Excel workbook. I go to the SQL Spreads tab. I click the table wizard. I select my database and table. Reseller, I click next. And I select which columns to include. I will include all of them here. Next, select where in the spreadsheet to insert the data. Select cell B4, click next. Lastly, I can select if the user should be able to also insert and delete rows. I click finish. And the data from the SQL Server table will be loaded into the Excel workbook. Now our document is ready. We'll save it. Now we can go in and change a value. Click Save, go to SQL Server, do a refresh, and we can see that the update that we did in the workbook is also transferred to the database. To be able to collaborate, SQL Spreads has a built-in conflict detection that will prevent changes to the same data at the same time. When working with the data through the workbook, all entries are validated against the data types in the database. So if I enter some text into a number column, I will get an immediate feedback that the data was wrong and I can go in and correct the value. In this way, you can be sure that the data entered by your users is always valid.